I'll, I'll watch the uh, the Ludwig video about PAL World. I took one week off from gaming and I came back to the largest game in the world being a complete and total scam. Ooh. At least that's what I've heard. What's the actual truth? Let's find out. I'm, of course, talking about Power World, a game that's taken the world by storm. Everybody's playing it, playing and it. everybody's giving it great reviews. But don't just take my word for it. Let's listen to Charlie talk about it. Yeah, I've actually heard good things about this. <laughs> yeah. Reviews are in, baby. That's Moist Critical there it himself. Is. He's played the shit out of this game. He has a lot more to say about Confirmed. it. Confirmed. But there's also, like, every other streamer on the planet who's playing it, and then everyone who's not a streamer also playing it. True. In fact, Pal World has the highest concurrent player count of any paid game in the history of Steam. Sort of. Technically, it's number two. PUBG actually has that record with like three point something million, but then they went free to play. But it's up there, man. Yeah. It is up there along with like Cyberpunk and Elden Ring. I think it's, it's even beaten them. that record. It's like yeah. at 1.5 million concurrent players. They've sold over 5 million copies for a paid game. It is huge. But what is the game? At its core, it's a game where you capture pals. And you use There's these Raichu. pals to like maybe gain experience by by destroying other pals or maybe weakening those pals mm -hmm. to capture them and adding them to your team. And if that sounds anything like Pokemon, it's because it's it has it's some similarities. It, it has some similarities. It, it's, it's the same thing. It's just like Pokemon. It's the same thing. But to admit that it had no similarities, it has some similarities. But it's not a one-to-one -one yeah. clone, right? The game's not like a turn-based It's RPG. a one-to-one point one. You kind of flow through and you do battles more freely and you can also like kill totally Pokemon different. outright and butcher them You can capture trainers. You can also butcher the trainers, which I think is just slavery and murder It's kind of like an uh, adult yeah. version with uh, some Pokemon themes in it some elements of right. Pokemon But in a uh, I guess more fresh way to play it uh, and and people are upset because they're claiming that this game has totally ripped off Pokemon. Yeah. And I get why the concerns are coming out. Pokemon is a very impactful game. It's a lot of people's personalities. So I can just be blunt about it. And so for a game to come up, uh, if come your up, personality is a video game, you're a fucking loser. And I don't want to hear what your opinion is. And, and rip it off, uh, uh, pisses some people off. And they've drawn some comparisons to the PAL world uh, PALs uh, versus the Pokemon themselves. Wow, what about WoW? Yeah, I was a fucking loser back then. Holy shit. Like, yeah, what do you... Didn't you see the videos? And, and here's one of the more blatant examples I've yeah. seen a hundred times. The, the, the glaring That's Meowth, Meowth and Gengar. being uh, uh, stolen by, by the yeah. PAL world designers. And, and you can judge for yourself whether it's actually stolen or maybe just slightly inspired. But people are going in. I saw this thread of a hundred... I mean, like, let's be real, guys. Some of these are fucking stupid. Like this? Like, you're just throwing shit at the wall and hoping it sticks. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. Uh-uh. Spread of a hundred, like, different pals and then Pokemon that it draws inspiration from. I will say a lot of them are a stretch, right? Like, a lot of them is just like, hey, it is a ferret-like creature. Yeah. And it's like, Pokemon didn't invent a goddamn... They invented ferrets. You have to understand that after Pokemon made Pidgey, nobody else can have birds anymore. After Caterpie and Beedrill, you can't have, or Butterfree, you can't have a butterfly animal. It, it, that's Poke Pokemon owns butterflies now. Sorry, guys. And fur furret. That that's that's just a, the, the, we got like those creatures in our world, and they're called animals. And so I think yeah. they're they're basing the designs off animals. But some are like, okay, yeah, that color scheme is kind of similar. Nah, that nah, bro, they stole this shit for sure. That some of these were 100%. They're like one for one. If you look at the uh, the the character models versus the Pokemon character models, they stole this shit 100%. But I'm gonna still play the game. Like I don't give a fuck about. It. Maybe perhaps is a little more, a little more similar, uh, and so and so it's basically a game of of like, you know. People trying to draw connections and seeing what is valid, yeah. what is not valid. Some, I would say, a little more wishy-washy, like like this one. You know, you can't really just take over all uh, uh, feathers or, or the color green. And some are a little more concerning, like the models of a pal and a Pokemon. This is, see, I saw this myself.
And I think that they fucking, I think that they won for one day. Look at this. Lined up next to each other, specifically Lux Ray. That's and, crazy, and, and one isn't of the pals it? called Boltman. Look pretty similar with, with the models and the yep. sizes and the shapes of it. Uh, and so, and so I yeah. get why people are bringing up the concern. But let's not pretend that Pokemon themselves haven't drawn inspiration from other games. In fact, this is one of it's Pirate Software's question. arguments, yeah. is that a lot of the Pokemon we know are just creatures or inspired by creatures from Dragon Quests, like Zubat. And you want to know what's really funny about Dragon Quest? Is I bet Dragon Quest took them from somebody else. There is no original text. Yeah, they probably took it from somebody else too. Yeah, like what the fuck are we talking about here? This is crazy. I mean, don't we have Pokemon that are like, uh, what's the serpent Pokemon, uh, like really powerful Pokemon? I think it's like second or third generation. What's its name? Let's just, we'll cut right down to it. There's Pokemon that kind of look like this. That's Rayquaza. I just, I, I didn't feel like it was one to one. I didn't. I, I didn't think it was that good. But Rayquaza is kind of like this. Yeah. I mean... I don't know, guys. This is always what's going to happen. I don't see it, to be honest. Okay. It's inspired from this Dragon Quest monster, and, and there's some other ones that maybe don't make as much sense, like this one for Dragonite. And so, and so yeah. this, this is like the counter-argument that I'm seeing a lot. Uh, uh, but... But the fact is that the PAL world devs have not, at this point, received any legal issues from Nintendo. And let me tell you, Nintendo will give it out if they want to give it out. They've given it to me good. Nintendo left me no holes refused here, okay? I got, I got a cease and desist myself. So a game that has 1.5 million sales that is literally being marketed at, uh, by everyone as Pokemon with guns, if they had any legal grounds to take them down, I think they would take that action. And not but, only that, but if Pokemon uh, sent a DMCA to Steam, Steam would be legally obligated to delist the game. Because of this campaign. Because of DMCA of, laws. Of, hey, Power World is a ripoff. It has led to some unfortunate consequences for some of the artists on the Power World team. And this is from the uh, lead developer uh, and the CEO of the company, uh, Takuro Mizobe, mm -hmm. who said, Currently, we are receiving slanderous comments uh, against our artists, and we're seeing tweets that appear to be death threats. Uh, and he just said, Hey, I'm the guy in charge here. So if you yeah. want to slander someone, slander me, not the artist, which, you know, that's, that's, that's a noble thing to say. Mm -hmm. But is there any validity in it? And I would say we can let Nintendo make that call. Right? I don't think we need to defend Nintendo or white knight for Nintendo. True, true, true. Nintendo, a very litigious company, will do it for yeah, themselves. Yeah, you got to think to yourself, if Nintendo can, they will. If they truly think that somebody is stealing their models. And that would be the thing that's a crime, if they were stealing mm -hmm. or copying models. And the models are available i'm pretty sure well, i'm sorry but like if they stole or copied the models but the game was fun i would still play the game like uh, i would still play it like i'm sorry like every single fan uh at some point has ripped models from every single pokemon game sure. so it would be feasible to do and if it's found out that that has happened that would be fucked up that'd be fucked up and then and then they should receive some repercussions sure, whether true. it's giving nintendo a big bag of money or or taking their game down yeah but if all that's happening is that artists are inspired by some Pokemon from Nintendo, Nintendo who's made like over a thousand Pokemon that are oftentimes based off very real animals in our real world, then I don't think that should be such a big deal and we should be flaming them. But unfortunately, that's not the only complaint that people are levying against Pal World. Because the other big one is that Pal World is using AI to make their game. And it is So this is an argument that's based off of um my sources, I made it the fuck up. Yeah, so what they did is they made it up, and then they got mad about it. Sad that people are falling for this AI product because it's fun and doesn't feel like AI, and now AI is going to take over everything. Books, music, art, sad day for America, sad day for the world. But there's no real evidence that the game uses AI. Let's go a step farther. If it did, I don't care.
in my opinion, generative a the difference between generative AI and procedural generation is pretty much non-existent. I think that they're basically the same thing. On a functional level, in terms of as a consumer, I think that they're about the same thing. It's different math, yeah. So, like, how is procedural... Like, do you really want me to draw... Like, again, I know they're different, but in order for somebody to expect me to draw a moral line... I have to perceive a difference that I consider substantial. And I do not consider the difference substantial. Do you guys? No. Right. No. And that's really what matters. If it was made with AI, I'm completely okay with that because it was fun. The evidence it is that... It doesn't matter. Nobody really cares about this. The lead developer has been very positive about AI in the past. Yeah. And made an AI game We're gonna play called this, by AI the way. Art Imposter that lets yeah. an AI artist draw a picture, and so that that was like like one of the yeah, games. We're gonna, be, and, we're gonna be playing and, this this week. Yes, just generally has been much more uh, positive about some of the benefits of AI rather than what is the normal sentiment amongst artists and and you know I guess general uh, Twitter population, which is that you know AI is bad and it takes jobs from well, people. Well, AI and the sentiment from artists, artists' opinions don't matter. It just doesn't matter because what matters is the opinion of the people that are buying the product. Like it doesn't like your opinion on it. Like just because you do it doesn't buy like, Nobody cares. Like it, 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 it's not it's not relevant. It's like whenever one of these like, you know, really well respected and, and really respectable uh, directors talks about how bad Marvel is. Shut up, old man. Shut up. I like watching the Thor movie. It was cool. It's not up. It's not up to him to decide what people can and can't like. Well, and we should not support AI uh, across the board. It's kind mm -hmm. of become a taboo word, like crypto or NFTs. Yeah, we don't really care about looking into the details of the project. If it has the word AI, we're pretty much out. All right, and because this person and by we they mean they, because clearly it's not a we. That's why Pal World is so successful. Nobody really cares about AI. People just pretend to care about it used to be or used to be very positive about ai it's likely perhaps that uh, power World has me. used ai uh to make this game come to life uh, and there's... also big point here is that if they used ai they fraudulently uploaded the game onto steam because steam requires people that use ai generative ai to make it known to them and to make it known to the users that it's being created through generative AI. Uh, more arguments that are, are following that sort of thought. They're basically kind of just trying to frame the team uh, in a certain way to make the argument rather than using evidence directly from the game to make the argument, which yeah. I don't really fuck with. I don't really Isn't like. Isn't this a furry? If I look at this picture, that looks like a furry to me. I mean, look at this. This is an NSFW and then it's another. These are furries. They're, they're like, what are we doing? It's a fucking furry. Like, what is this? What are we talking about? What, we're going to listen to a fucking furry? Just, hey, this person is bad based off their history, and that is why we should not support it. Versus... You want to talk about somebody's history? What about the history of you being a fucking furry? How about that? Huh? You want to talk about, well, let's look into somebody's background? Let's look into your profile picture. Your own fucking Twitter bio. Somebody needs to put this person in an institution. 50 years ago, you'd be in a straitjacket. Have clear proof of AI being used, so we should not support it. Because I understand the moral line of not wanting to support AI games because you like humans and what humans make. But be sure. Be right. Don't just slander a character and then go off that. Uh humans made the AI. Do you not like fences because you don't like what hammers make you only like what people make you not want a fence it's just so stupid like it, it, it's amazing to me that like people can have like this mindset that's just just, just like so transparently fucking stupid and like everybody repeats it as if it's some sort of fucking religion uh and then there's a couple other complaints which is that hey this isn't the first time that the Power World team has stolen before. 
what you're looking at is not a multiplayer Breath of the Wild. It is actually another game they made called Craftopia, which is uh, being uh, uh, called out for being very similar to Breath of the Wild, being resurfaced now. Uh, Do you want to know another game that was called out for being very similar to Breath of the Wild? It was called Genshin Impact. And the reason why is because it was. And the reason why it was similar to Breath of the Wild is because I think the people that made Genshin Impact just stole the things from Breath of the Wild. But does anybody really care about that? Well, besides the fat guy that broke his PlayStation, no. And then they made this game, which people are saying it, it looks very similar to Hollow Knight and was uh, uh, massively inspired or stole from Hollow Knight. So, so I'm just trying to give you the full context here of, of why we are in this situation in the first place. And it is pretty obvious to me that it all stems from the fact that this game is being marketed as Pokemon with guns. It is. Everyone's talking a bit about it as, as adult Pokemon or the Pokemon game we've always wanted. And because as it is. Huge Pokemon fan who thinks Black and White, Black and White 2 are the greatest Pokemon games ever made. It's been a tough like fucking decade. I'm really feeling old whenever I constantly hear people talk about their nostalgia for Pokemon games, and I don't even know what game that was. That's really upsetting for Pokemon, man. The games have been, I, I think, pretty mid, right? The, the Pokemon designs have, have sometimes been a little lackluster in recent years. The, the gameplay and the games from Game Freak look bad. It looks like a PS2 game. But it's, it's all we get, so we just eat it. We eat the To be fair, it's because it has to run on a machine that is the equivalent of a PS2. So that part of it actually makes sense. It's the washed out colors that there's no excuse for. Slop that they feed PlayStation us. PlayStation because... 2 is better? You're right, because it could at least play DVDs. Can a Switch play a DVD? Good point. We like Pokemon because it was part of our childhood. That's how I feel. And I wish they would make something that's more innovative. Yeah. And Power World did that. And so I feel like it is creating a divide between people who liked Pokemon and now like this new thing because they've grown up with Pokemon and they like that sort of yeah. gameplay and, and, and the art style or Pokemon whatever. Pokemon was a gateway and then people drug. Who just wish that, th that Game Freak could do it right and they don't want someone else to steal it and everyone yeah. to leave the Pokemon universe because they put so much time and effort into this thing. But unless it's proven that they've stolen designs... Uh, stolen models, used AI to generate their 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 pals, then I really think it is a nothing burger. It if it's proven, then it's still a nothing burger. The website that Ludwig is on, that we all consume every day, YouTube, is built on the foundation of theft in the form of piracy. Most of the content that is on YouTube is not owned by YouTube. That's just the way it is. No one really cares about this. No one actually gives a fuck. There's no principle. There's no guiding light. There's no North Star. People just want to play a video game. And that's it. It is as big of a problem, and, and maybe we could argue this is a huge problem we should talk about, but it's a different one, as Valorant taking inspiration from CSGO. Right, a 5v5 tax shooter. I, yeah. A lot of similarities there. Or perhaps Good Genshin point. Impact, taking a lot of gameplay elements from Breath of the Wild. Or a game I played a fuck ton of, Only Up, taking direct inspiration from the Fadi and Four uh, Fathers of, of getting over it and basically stealing assets outright. I mean, this game also could end up being a, a like a tale of what might happen to power uh i don't know about that if it did 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 only up steal assets or did they just upload assets they didn't have the right to use it seemed like almost like inadvertently and then they just changed it stole well i i guess like so intent is a bit different right like same thing maybe maybe functionally yes but i think that intent matters then the, yeah then it got removed because this game got taken down from Steam for using stolen assets from Unity. Sure. And it got massively popular because it was really fun to play. But it eventually caught up to it. Right? Right? The dev took down the game because they couldn't get away with stealing all the assets. Like this anime girl right here. And, and if it...
Um, that's actually not what the developer said. That's not why they said they took down the game. The developer said they took down the game because the amount of pressure that was created in the community for them to make content was too much and it, it bothered their mental health. It seemed to me like the actual reason why they did that was the same reason because of Flappy Bird. We all remember that in like 2011, whenever a guy made this game that was like just super, super popular and then Flappy Bird was just massive and he just couldn't deal with the pressure that it put on him. He wasn't ready for that level of exposure. And then he was like, holy fuck. And he just shut down completely. And so I think with only up the same thing happened. I think that we already have a use case for it. Now, I remember even this is like a, a parallel is that I remember the people, uh, the guy that makes Hollow Cure was like, oh man, it he said he really stressed him out that he won an award at our game awards. I almost kind of felt bad about it, you know, because I'm like, ah, fuck, you know, like I feel bad now, you know, I'm putting him on the spot, right? But like, you know, like it's one thing to make a game. It's another thing to have like a certain level of success. Like success can fuck you up. It really can. Like I've seen it happen with streamers. Like, think about how many people get, like, really successful and then they turn into, like, drug addicts or they just go, like, fucking crazy in one way or another. It's very common. So, yeah, um, I, I, I don't think that that's the reason why OnlyUp was removed. Because whenever OnlyUp was removed from Steam, it was then re-added back onto Steam without those assets. So the asset problem was not related directly to why OnlyUp isn't on Steam. If it's found out eventually that there are any stolen assets i think the same thing would happen but mm -hmm. we have to wait for it to be found out you can't jump the gun having said that fans of power world are not doing the devs a favor by making all the comparisons if you watch somebody stream power world they'll sometimes just call the pals pokemon outright who does <laughs> that just say mons they'll say pokemon whatever and there's also a mod that's been teased oh god bro i'm not even gonna watch this bro i'm not even gonna watch it yeah <laughs> Bro, like, I'm not even going to watch it, no. <laughs> After, we're going to have to fucking, like, edit that part out. This and, and separate themselves from modders trying to make it Pokemon but for adults and try to form their own identity. Yeah. And that's and that's the whole story. That's where we're at right there now. It is. We're we're basically waiting for things to get proven. The the devs haven't said any more. They haven't they haven't mentioned uh -huh. use of AI. He just said the thing about hey please don't flame my artist, which I get. Uh and so sure. if there's any updates I'll let you know. But but until then, I'm gonna play it. Because game look fun. Game look fun. I'll play a game that looks fun. There and, you I, go. And, and and maybe tell me I'm wrong for that. I don't know. Have a good one. That's it. That's my thoughts. I See was later. actually That's so it. worried that Ludwig was going to pussy out and act like it's actually a problem to not get hate. I'm so happy at the end of it. He's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck about this. Thank fucking God. I was so concerned that he was going to do that. I was like, oh, you, you fucking pussy. Are you kidding me? And it's like, yeah, exactly. I fucking agree. So goddamn true. I'll link you all the video. Always debates. I know. I know. Did he, though? Yeah, he did. He did. He talked about it. He's very fair. And then he said, I'm going to play it anyway. He doesn't give a fuck, right? Yeah, there you go. I want to get clicks. Yeah, exactly. The Coffin of Andy and Laylee. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a little bit different. But yeah, I mean, it, it's I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, how about it be the other way around? Uh, I mean, like, I, then, I, well, then I would disagree. Have you seen the Oklahoma furry legislation? Absolutely, I've seen it. So in Oklahoma, they want to make a law to where furries, if you're a furry in school and you're being a furry, like coming in with a tail, a fursuit, wearing paws, anything like that, that instead of calling the police, they'll call animal control and have you removed by animal control. I think this is a great idea. I do. I'm completely in support of it because when in Rome, do what the Romans do. And whenever you're in a circus, behave like a fucking clown. The world has lost its fucking mind. People have diverted from reality. You have actual fucking kids that think that they are an animal or some version of it, and they want other people to play along with their delusion. This is a mental illness. It's fucking ridiculous, and it shouldn't be accommodated by any adult. You're not doing a 15-year-old any favors by playing along with this fantasy that he's half fox. That's what I fucking think.
You're not doing, you're not helping them at all. How do you know they aren't? Because they're not. You can do a DNA test and it says that they're not a fox. It's that simple. And I'm tired of pretending that it's not. There it is. And everybody fucking knows it.